My biggest dream is to experience design worldwide. I also believe grapefruits are severely underrated. I appreciate good design, but what makes something great design is when it has a story, a purpose. Finding my purpose has been something really hard to do. After studying for four years at the School of Design in Syracuse, New York, I was able to find it. Design allows me to take something dry and make it sing. It takes consideration and it challenges me. But as the saying goes, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Design creates culture. Culture creates value and value determines the future. Hi. I'm Sam Bortman, and my story started at the School of Visual Performing Arts at Syracuse University, where I built one of the most powerful and creative foundations for my future. I believe as my character, work ethic, multifaceted approach to design, and never-ending grit that sets me apart in this competitive field. Behind my portfolio stands a hustling creator who seeks to find out the next future-forward brand experiences and culture-shifting ideas. With a passion for bringing new, innovative concepts to dominate any field, I find myself a conceptual creative that can create design solutions that provide a transformative energy at the intersection of design, marketing, and culture. So what are you waiting for? Let's create together. The B in Bronstein stands for big ideas. Big thinker, brainstormer, battler, bold being, buddy, boss, and big jokester. I am a vessel for all things, thoughts, concepts, and nuggets of idea gold. These nuggets are always sifted through the system of my wacky, clever, and comedic mind. Spit out like my own children, they each carry my personality and the strong backbone to be put through my military grade critique drills. Drop and give me 10. Nope, I'll give you 100. With a passion for creative advertising, art direction, and everything copywriting, I hope my persuasion skills have convinced you to invest in an Emily Bronstein. One of a kind designer and art director package deal fit with confidence, a storyteller mind, and a hunger to jump right in. Don't miss out. This deal is flying off the shelves. Perseverance is my greatest strength. Born in Thailand, Mononicity, raised in America, I am a first generation Asian American with a passion for creating meaningful and beautiful designs. I specialize in branding, packaging, and UI UX design. As a graduate of Syracuse University with a BFA in communications design and a minor in architecture, I have become an expert at researching design problems and conceptualizing creative, fun, and unique solutions. My move to America presented the opportunity to view life from two different perspectives, empowering me to develop into a designer who is reflective, empathetic, and diverse. I believe that with ingenuity and willpower, I can achieve even the most challenging goals. I am a driven decision maker, an Aries, a confident dancer, and a crazy K-drama fan. I am Psych Chan. I'm a woman on a mission, a mission to create powerful design, thoughtful conceptual thinking, and extensive research to solve the problems that directly and indirectly impact communities, environments, and identities. I practice transformative design, believing that design is a radical tool to shift perceptions and status quos with a human-centered, reality-based, and empathetic strategy. My name is Jane Simonera. For me, design is synonymous with advocacy. It is a visual expression of the moral compass and a form of storytelling that has the very real ability to change people's lives. Design is the most revolutionary, like any successful collective, when different people work together to question ideas, deepen conversations, and critique for the sake of growth. Aristotle was right in that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Two or three or four minds are better than one. So let's put ours together to do some good. Hi, my name is Morgan Cohen, and I am a recent Syracuse Communications Design graduate who has been creative ever since I was a little girl. I started to paint with oil and acrylics at the age of six and developed a love for art and design. I have always had a creative eye and see the world around me for inspiration. I have a strong interest in beauty, health, and fashion and find myself researching new products or trying out a new workout routine daily. I am a very passionate person and when I put my mind to something, I get it done. 
Wherever I am, I have to have a mountain I can climb up, raise my hands in the air, and shout, I did it at the top of my lungs. I'm talking to you, Vermont, Colorado. Okay, that may be a little too specific, but you get the gist. My name is Aubrey Cullinan, and I'm a recent Syracuse University graduate with a BFA in Communications Design. I have an immense love for being surrounded by the challenges and opportunities presented by tall, rugged mountains, but getting lost in the depths of Central Park will also do it for me. I can make adventures out of any little moment. Watching a quiet sunrise, flowers swaying in the wind, roaming clouds, or a winter's snowfall. And my designs feature the same essence of exploration, spirit, and harmony. I'm a conceptual thinker that works to bring the use of hard-hitting visuals and storytelling to every project I approach. I believe that it is not always about the loudest person or designer in the room, but the one that is the most thoughtful. Please get in touch, I would love to talk, and hopefully one day we can both raise our hands in the air and shout, we did it together. Hola, my name is Ana Maria Danner Vega. I'm a Caribbean-born, thrill-seeking, creative thinker. Born and raised in Boriquen, Puerto Rico, I'm inspired by the extraordinary things in our ordinary life. With a heart of gold, down-to-earth, and selfless demeanor, I graduated from Syracuse University with a BFA in Communications Design and a minor in Art Photography. I may look sweet and delicate on the outside, but once you unfold my truths, you'll see that I'm a robust and vigorous woman ready to take on the world with my vibrant personality. Fueled by lifelong love for weird looking and spontaneous breathtaking expression, I pride myself on having the dreamer's disease. I have faith in holding on to a dream even when the candle is burning low. I have faith that we are all kind people in our own way. I have faith in the music in me that keeps me going. I have faith that design can shape and change the world. I have faith in the power of my ideas. I pride myself on generating inventive ideas that solve problems by combining culture, experiences, and style to craft unusual designs. I aspire to grow in a space that allows me to express my true self and design meaningfully along other creative minds. My never-ending dreams and the never-ending ways to pursue them are my contribution for any project that I set my mind, soul, and heart to. I have faith in human nature and all that we can accomplish together. Hello, my name is Liran. I'm a pragmatic problem solver with a mind that runs pretty much nonstop. I can and will take unconventional ideas and build them into complete practical experiences. In other words, I'm a big picture thinker with a meticulous attention to detail. Design is so fulfilling because it's a process where I get to combine my knack for clever writing, a pinch of math, the occasional bout of humor, engaging imagery, and intuitive empathy to clearly communicate powerful ideas. A collaborative environment, a pen on paper, and a pen cap between my teeth are my holy trinity of this process. Though I am a proud Bostonian, I am happy to take on work anywhere in the eastern or central areas of the United States. When not designing, I'm either playing ultimate frisbee, watching movies, or practicing my Scottish accent. Let's get in touch to spin some ideas. My name is Brie Flew, and I love the details of big ideas. I enjoy the conversations something as small as a serif can have with something as big as concept. I'm also a spatial thinker, so I can visualize intricate die lines in my head and have a strong understanding of three-dimensional space. This spatial awareness means I am great with directions and can always determine the best route to take when it comes to strange cities and design concepts. My favorite kind of map to navigate is the mind map, which is where I forge trails of forced connections. As a 2021 graduate of Syracuse University's Communications Design and Museum Studies programs, I am interested in connecting design with storytelling and cultural heritage. Thanks to my love for the details of big ideas, my design decisions are always rooted in strategy and concept. I love research, and sometimes this just means exploring the depths of Encyclopedia Britannica, and other times it means visiting an archive and gingerly paging through documents to discover things you could never find on the internet. Need someone who can navigate details just as well as big ideas? Let's chat and maybe navigate a mind map or two. When it comes to food and design, there's one thing they have in common. I'm hungry for it. Design gets me talking about all of these tangents as my friends and family politely nod and smile along. 
I feed off of collaboration and working alongside others to creative problem solve. As an Inspire and Creative Director, I'm constantly analyzing brand identities, packaging concepts, and advertising campaigns. My design lens is always on. Over the years, I've curated a tool belt of knowledge and skills from internships, education, and my personal exploration. These experiences have shaped myself into the agile designer I am today. I am fiercely passionate about what I do, and I'm eager to continue my growth. I recently earned my BFA in communications design from Syracuse University with a minor in communications photography. Outside of design, you can find me running three miles that I will later regret, avidly watching college basketball, laughing at my own jokes, and munching on a bag of Cheeto puffs. I am a Renaissance woman. You need it done? You've come to the right place. As a graduate from the communications design program at Syracuse University, I've explored a variety of design solutions and strategies to problems I've noticed in everyday life, and of course, through endless rabbit holes on the internet. Design is the ultimate catalyst in bettering how we interact with people, places, products, and the world around us. Visual design is only as good as the concept and strategy that comes with it. My passion lies in the creation, creative direction, and execution of these concepts. When not looking so art historically serious, you can find me doodling, dreaming, playing dress up, and above all else, giggling. So let's giggle together. Hi, I am David Gell. As an aspiring creative art director and designer, my designs are diversified and adaptable. From something as crazy as a countercultural bubble tea brand to projects that strictly meet business standards, my works reflect my multicultural perspective and experience in exploring Guangdong, London, and New York, in which I specialize in brand identity design, web and mobile development, as well as business strategy. I am a recent graduate of the Communications Design Program and Economics Program at Syracuse University. I am confident that my experience and passion for quality can contribute ideas and designs to your business. Outside of design, I am a late night pianist, a basketball player in the rain, and a traveler with a 35mm digital camera. I am David Gell. Hi, my name is Bridget Gismondi. Every time people find out I'm left-handed, they say, you know, left-handed people are supposed to be very creative. To which I say, yeah. Why else do you think I became a designer? I'm biologically wired for it. Jokes aside, I'm a driven designer and creative thinker who wants to share my conceptual thinking, design skills, humor, and art nerd trivia with you. I love developing exciting and unique concepts to drive brand identities from beyond the basic. After all, good design isn't just a pretty face. It's got a brain, too. I'm currently based in Southern Florida, but I'm willing to go wherever an exciting opportunity will take me. If you experience four seasons, that is a plus. Hi, I'm Sophie and I'm a problem solver. Growing up with both a scientist and an artist as my role models, I was captivated by both scientific and creative subjects. The idea of having to choose just one path seemed like an unbearable decision, so stumbling into creative problem solving felt like winning the jackpot. Creative problem solving scratches both sides of my brain in just the right way. Approaching problems with a combination of analysis and creativity began to spread to other parts of my life, outside design. Can't find a hat in a particular color? Figure out how to knit one yourself. Want a cost-effective way to make tie-dye clothing? Use veggie scraps to make natural dyes. Nothing is more satisfying than tackling a problem and reaching a solution through research and out-of-the-box thinking. I look forward to continuing to be challenged with new problems and finding creative solutions every day. Hi, I'm Whitney, and from a simple suburban town on the outskirts of Boston, I grew up eager for adventure. The first leg of my journey has led me to study at Syracuse University, where I spent my time conceptualizing, creating, and ideating for my BFA in communications design. 
After years of multidisciplinary mayhem, I have grown into an art director and designer who isn't afraid to color outside the lines. I specialize in editorial and brand identity, with a flair for avant-garde experimentation. Through my lens, art and design are interchangeable, filled with passion, expression, and the power of change. And I look forward to bringing this perspective to wherever this journey continues to take me next. Dan Kerner is a creative with a passion for film, creative design, and photography. He is a communication design graduate from Syracuse University who is open to working anywhere that promotes creativity and collaboration. Dan is passionate about UI and UX design. When he is designing, he likes to think big but also focus on even the smallest of details. Dan is always open to feedback and critique from others to present the best product possible. When faced with a problem, he tries to find solutions from multiple perspectives, no matter how challenging. Dan has also worked on many film sets and has been referred to as a Swiss army knife while on set. While he is shooting, producing, or gaffing, he is always positive and pushes others to their full potential, even on long production days. He understands that all successful productions require constant collaboration. Dan enjoys meeting new people, learning new skills, and is always open to new opportunities. When he's not working, he likes to play rugby, lacrosse, the drums, take photos, and watch films. His ambition is to one day become a creative director and work in the film media industry. Hi, I'm Rachel. Let me be your expert. I'm frequently asked why I know so much about obscure topics, and my only answer is that I always want to learn more. My spare time is spent watching documentaries about, talking about, or thinking about my current fascination. Whether it's a painting restoration video I'm watching, that one cold case I can't shut up about, or a mid-century piece of furniture I found at the thrift store, I'm always discovering something and trying to share it with others. Design is what most effectively lets me do that. It gives me an outlet and a step-by-step -step process on how to collect loose information and create something meaningful. Translating research into the conceptual and visual is where my appetite for learning and creative flair combine. I'm a graduate of Syracuse University looking for in-person or remote work in the New England area. Got any more questions for me? Contact me and I'll have an answer. Along the unlit alphabetical shelves, wedged in the teeth of a letterbox, standing amongst the kiosk time, she hears the hum of a metaphor. A choir of authors, a lost annotation, a spilled teacup between theorems. Visual stories saturate the page, beckoning her to resolve them. She is the silhouette draped on the wall, caught between dawn, shadowing the screen. She tours paragraphs, chases deadlines, creates characters between bylines. Illustrious settings fill her approach, a poetic voice leads her speech. A concept can be curated within metaphor, unknown to isolation, woven through comparison. A recent graduate, she's folding the page, shelving the chapter, designing new pave. She awaits new setting, she listens for a hum. A recent graduate of Syracuse University's VPA Communication Design Program, Maddie Lynn Legenza is a purveyor of visual metaphors. Her design interests lie in between cultural celebration, conscious action, and curious narratives. Her specialization resides in editorial design, brand identity, copywriting, vigorous research, and falling down the Wikipedia hole. What visual story do you wish to tell? Write her a passage. Can I help you? I really mean it. I just graduated from Syracuse with a brand full of knowledge. I'm Jack, I'm 22 years old, and I'm not a designer. I'm not even an artist. But I am as a guy that's good at thinking on his feet, understanding others, and creating logical systems. It turns out, everyone has problems. So what do you want? If problems are so relative, what bothers you? What do you find irritating about the world, and how do you suggest we do it better? Problem solving is a practical process, but it'll always be people-based. I currently live in New York State with my cat, but we're very open to relocation, so don't be shy. Reach out and give me a problem. Hi, I'm Bridget, a passionate designer who thinks visually and works best with music blasting in the background. Big fan of mind maps, Procreate, cold brew coffee, and putting almost anything in the air fryer. I'm a creative thinker, problem solver, graphic designer, and graduate of Syracuse University with a BFA in communications design. 
From the brief to the final phase, I have the drive to put my entire energy into any project. Whether it's honing my design skills, pedaling faster on the Peloton to beat my past cycling records, or repurposing my old sneakers by customizing them into what feels like a new pair, I am always focused on self-improvement through personal and professional growth. I believe in solving big problems with more than just pretty solutions and giving purpose to every design decision I make. Let's create design solutions together. I have always been drawn to being creative in any way that I could be. Over time, my creativity grew from mindlessly doodling in class, to spending hours a day on my art projects as a hobby, to stumbling upon communications design and realizing that my hobby can become my future. I have a passion for problem solving in unique ways and not quitting until I get the end result I am striving for. When it comes to design, I believe that there is no straightforward pretty process. Getting your hands dirty in a project, making a hundred mind maps, ideating 18 logos and scratching them all at the end of the day only makes for a better solution in the end and are all a part of the process that I have grown to love. I recently earned my BFA in communications design at Syracuse University. When I am not designing, you can find me on the beach in California with my family, feeding my coffee addiction or obsessing over reality TV. Hi, I'm Michaela Reese, a recent graduate of the communication design program at Syracuse University. As for my design style, I prioritize process, problem solving, and collaborating overall. When I'm not out attempting the latest fitness trend or discussing fashion with friends, I am constantly doodling and designing for both fun and function. I love conversing about all things creative and I'm looking for a New York City-based team to take my design career to the next level. Feel free to reach out to me at any time. My name is Henry Rose. Some people call me Hank, but my mom calls me whenever I'm trying to get work done. I'm a designer and aspiring art director with a keen eye for detail and clever communication. I consider myself a jack of all trades, master of none. Put simply, I am no mere Photoshop jockey. I've had an interest in art and design ever since I was young, and it brings me great joy knowing I can use my passion to help others communicate their stories in a clear and clever manner. My stoic demeanor belies my vibrant sense of humor, and I take great inspiration from the eclectic variety of movies, comics, cartoons, and other oddball media I've enjoyed throughout my life and wear their influence on my sleeve. In my downtime, I like to draw, mess around with new softwares, or tinker with my 3D printer in an attempt to learn new ideas and clever ways to solve problems. Thanks for listening to my story. Hopefully I get to hear yours someday. <sighs> Figures, she's calling me again. I gotta go. Hey mom, look, now really isn't a good time. I gotta do this voiceover thing. I create art for advertisements, content for commercials, and materials for marketing. My head can handle big ideas. As we work together, the big idea is distill into delicately detailed design strategies to best capture the eyes and ears of the audience most likely to take action with your product. In the past, I have worked with both city tourism campaigns and small boutique businesses and projects that connect an audience base to the benefits of a local region. Wherever I work, I deem it important to help communicate the interests of the community that I'm residing in. I find myself enchanted by regions that combine both urban and natural environments. I grew up in Philadelphia between a train station and the woods. So if you're looking for someone who is creative and clever, remember my name, Eli Schwemmler. My name is Sloane Sexton and I love being a designer because of how it changed the way I see the world. In just four years, my parents have grown to hate long car rides because I can't stop reading the signs. And grocery store trips have become day-long extravaganzas without buying a single thing. I had always been a creative person, but never thought beyond the tools that were available to me. Now, if I can't find the right tool, I just make that too. When you see everything around you as a sum of its process and players rather than as a final project, the blank canvases start popping up all over. I haven't found anything that I couldn't turn into a design project. And because of that, I'm always making something. Not just because it's my job, but because it's part of who I am. I make jackets, hoodies, purses, and rugs. I make logos, packages, websites, and magazines. <laughs> I even make my own spotlight. To me, all of it is design, 
from what we wear to what we eat, we're all just the designers of our own lives, right? I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. VP does not stand for vice president. That'd just be weird. It stands for Vine Paisley, which is much weirder. I'm a designer originally from Jamaica, hence why I found solace in air-conditioned America, who has been trained to design past just making things look pretty. A good design is thoughtful and conceptual, has personality as well as good looks. Design is like solving a problem with a doozy amount of solutions. What's not to like about it? Maybe that's why I want to do it forever, wherever I am. That's why I'd love a remote job, so I could do what I love whether I'm in Jamaica with my parents or at my home base in Florida. Anyways, if you'd like to chat more about weird middle names or perhaps design, just let me know. What is up? My name is Skylar Stein and I am a multidisciplinary designer. I'm originally from Miami, Florida and have been immersed into its rich culture and arts ever since I could remember. Creativity rules everything I do. The process is not linear. And because of that, I often wake up at 3 a.m. with burning ideas I need to bring to life. I'm a strategic, innovative, and creative thinker. My favorite things to design are experiences. Watching how people interact with my creations is one of the most fulfilling parts of being a designer. Creative adrenaline is a rush I just cannot shake. Being a part of the next generation of designers, it is important to have a strong worldview to design brands, products, and solutions that will push us towards a better future. As a design student, my interest in art came from my parents. The blueprints at home is my first impression of art, which later influenced me to become a person who loves art and design. Throughout my undergraduate pursuit, Syracuse University has provided me with a variety of resources and rigorous trainings of creative process, communications theory, design history, and project management. Apart from illustration, photography, typography, and production processes to equip me with a set of graphic media skills and develop my problem-solving ability. In addition, mentoring in global security studies I strengthened my analytical ability via the analytical tools of different social sciences and further developed my critical thinking. My firm's academic foundation and analytical skills empowered me to build my career around my passion of communications design. Hi, I'm Lucia Toledo, and growing up in a rich, diverse suburb of Philadelphia, there has been a constant supply of inspiration and creativity all around me. I've always had a knack for all that is art, and that has transcended into my college career. Graduating from Syracuse University in 2021 with a BFA in Communications Design, I've been able to refine my skills in design thinking, problem solving, group work, and overall professionalism. I've built a tough skin that is open and eager to receive constructive criticism and be able to thrive in a team environment. I specialize in illustration, art direction, and concept creation. I'm someone who loves to talk, so naturally I'm finding it hard to fit everything about me into one small paragraph. If I had all the time in the world, I would tell you about my love of warm bread or share my obsession with jigsaw puzzles but I think it would be doing both of us a disservice. I would rather tell you that I'm a passionate storyteller dedicated to solving complex problems with creative design solutions. I'm a collaborative thinker with a hunger for design and dessert, equipped with a keen eye and a saucy attitude. Design is my passion and matcha is my guilty pleasure. I graduated from Syracuse University with a BFA in communications design. When I'm not at work, you can usually find me creating something in the kitchen. Hungry to create? Let's cook up something together. Hi there, my name is Kaylee Weil and I'm a creative thinker, dynamic problem solver, team player, and fierce leader. I use these skills to find unique and innovative solutions to any and all problems put in front of me. I specialize in brand identity design, packaging, and editorial design. Ever since I was elected president of Miss Galley's second grade class, I knew I would take over the world, one big idea at a time. All projects featured here were ideated, pitched, conceptualized, designed, copywritten, art directed, and materialized by me. I'm Kaylee. Let's work together to create something amazing. I promise it'll be worthwhile. 
I am a meteor flying through space, a being on a constant collision course wherever life takes me. Every time I collide through new skills, ideas, and experiences, human connections are created. That is the best part of life, learning and growing constantly, especially with the community. Design is how we create and tell the story of the world that we experience together. The human story must truly represent all humans. This is why I want to pursue the cause of design for everybody, with everybody. Collaboration with all people is how we will create our story. One day, I would love to collide and exchange stories with you. Graduating with a BFA in Communications Design from Syracuse University, Sammy Whitman is a conceptual problem solver with a knack for embodying a cathartic experience. Though she has a slight addiction to Arizona green tea, her love for creative entertainment fuels her drive to grow and thrive in a collaborative, energetic work environment. Constantly evolving, her mind absorbs new techniques and ideas every day that only enhance her process and creative thinking. While focusing on a multidisciplinary experiential approach and various stages of empathetic ideations, she strives for clarity and individuality through visually stimulating design. If you're looking for an individual who still prides themselves on their pumpkin carving abilities, then Sammy Whitman is the designer for you. As a child, my unrestrained ideas and good painting skills have imposed the seeds for future design pursuit. I am very eager to present my ideas through artistic expression, further affecting the things around me. As a designer now, I confirm that communications design should not be limited to papers, but should break design boundaries to express ideas by using materials and skills. I attempted to innovate design elements and briefly break through the existing way of design. It pushed my imagination and creativity to the extreme, not constricted to theoristic studies but more about multidisciplinary design. However, the in-depth design theory acts as an important role in my works and pushes me to further explore the design issues. My constant exploration is like a beacon that guides me to communication design where ideas and value of art will be achieved. After a year of in-depth design exploration, I will be an excellent designer focusing on multidisciplinary study and communications design.